Hello, today we're gonna go over how to get, boom, Ring of the Unclean, along with how to get infected with the Parasite debuff. Uh, unarmed melee attacks deal two times damage, and heavy flops deal four times damage. For those of you that don't know what heavy flops are, the Leto's armor, your dodge is actually just a belly flop, and it does damage. Area effect damage is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know how powerful it is. I don't know how much more powerful it will be with this, but it's pretty awesome. Anyways, um, side note, I played this game for 400 hours back in vanilla before any expansions came out. Okay. So this involves the Iskal Queen, the new version of her in after Swamps of Courses came out. Uh, you might have to go through the original campaign and give her the heart instead of giving it to the Undying King for her to show up in adventure mode. I don't know. I've done it all. I've done everything a thousand times inside and out. But, but, I've, I've been yelled at for not giving every detail from a year ago. <laughs> so, um, what you're looking for in adventure mode is the, um, Iskul Sanctum. So you can go talk to the Iskul Queen, which is this person. And, to my knowledge, this has to be done in one run because the item you get from the Queen will disappear if you reset the adventure. If that's incorrect, then go get the item from the Queen, hold on to it until you get the vendor. But you need to get the, to my knowledge, you have to get the vendor and the Queen in the same instance. So you can take the item to uh, this person. So if you're running an adventure mode in courses, okay, you're going to re-roll it over and over again until you get what you want. You're going to run around. If you get the Iskal Sanctum, which has the queen, and you also have the vendor, you need to go around the world either in a dungeon or out in the world, and you need to find specific enemy that you want to have them grab you. Now, they're going to swing at you, swing at you, swing at you, but when they put two hands up, they'll come in and grab you, and it's going to prompt you to spam the E button or whatever it is on console to break free. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let them lick your face. You'll get the parasite debuff, as shown here. Touch me. Grab me. There you go. Thank you. Once you get the debuff, it'll say Parasite, and you'll notice that half your life is gone. It's okay, it heals over time. I kind of like it. Anyways, anyways. Then, while you're infected, do not click on any of the stones. It'll restore you and it'll cleanse you. So, keep that in mind. Then you gotta go back to the Iskal Sanctum, go talk to the Queen. Don't pick a fight with her. Don't pick a fight with her. And then she'll give you the vial, which is what you'll, the uh, Iskal vial, as seen here. Yes, we are Today one with Iskal. We have not forgotten your deeds for the Iskal. The bright gleam of valiantly brought our guardian's heart to us. Take this token beyond our realm. Spread the message of Iskal. Our strength must be known. We are one within Iskal. I got the sigil again. One last favor we ask. It is not the gleam of strength but cunning that we desire. The last of our lost kin rejects the Iskar, but they must be saved from their own ignorance. Yes, I will help. Will you help Iskar? We are truly one within Iskar. The Iskar found us, enlightened our kin. We cannot leave any of our kin to the dark. One lost soul hides amongst the dead. Alone and afraid. We must bring them Iskal's light. They must ingest this gift from Iskal. Only then can we embrace them as kin. You must give the gift sight unseen. 
This cow must be whole for our new world to be born. Then you're going to take your vial and go back over to the vendor. And I've only done this one time, but chat was telling me that you should crouch walk up to her cauldron. And you're going to dump the vial into her cauldron. And then you need to go to a stone like this. Leave the zone, come back. So go to Ward 13 and then fast travel back to last checkpoint. And then she'll have time to whatever she does when you're not there. Go up the stairs of the hut, open the door. There's your stuff. Like in this clip. Don't wake. Potency. Hi. There's nothing for you in there. You. Oh, talk to a checkpoint. Careful. Okay. Evil is all around us. So she has time to drink it. Chop. Ward. Yes. She be gone. No. Oh yeah, take that. Ring of the unclean. I haven't killed her normally. I know it's on hard, but we should go kill her. So there you go. There you go. That's how you get the ring of the unclean. It seems like a lot of process for for a ring, but it is what it is. Um, again, when you get the vial from the queen and you don't have the vendor, I don't know if that vial stays in your inventory if you reroll Corsus again. Um, some items do, some items don't. I, I didn't want to test it because it took me like four days to actually get both of them together. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash like I'm between the late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter at Slagummy for news, updates, and goofiness. I have a Discord also that just sits there. Um, one of the things that I'm curious about, to be honest, is um, builds. So if anybody knows of a place that has builds, like that Reddit place, I was on their Discord Scrolling down, couldn't find anything. If you guys have builds, um, I'd love to see them either either in the comment section or um, over on Discord. Um, I was thinking about testing out people's builds and stuff and just making videos and giving people credit and whatnot. Um, that would be cool. That'd be cool. If you want it. I'm curious. I gotta, I'm gotta. i still trying to get some parts for a burning build. Um, I did that bleed build that somebody told me. That was kind of cool. And then there's a lot of feedback on how to make it better, which was even cooler, right? So, anyways, yeah. Discord, Twitter, Twitch. See you guys later. Bye-bye now.